Talk about humbling yourself. You want to humble yourself, you should be like, what can I learn from an ant? I'm going to step on an ant. Right? You're wise in your own conceit. You need to be able to learn from even the smallest examples, the smallest of things. And this is why, you know, hey, if you're, going to, if you're a slugger and you're going to learn anything, God's saying, you know what, humble yourself. And maybe you can learn something because you're so proud, you're so conceited, you're not willing to go off and work, and no one can tell you what to do. Yeah, it's a proud person that says, oh, I'm, I'm not going to do that. See you on the job all the time. Boss tells you to do something, oh, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because people think they're better than that. I'm not going to go clean that toilet. I'm not going to go mop. Who do they think I am? You sluggard? Conceited? Fool yourself? Look, you got a job to do. Why don't you just do it? What can we learn from the ant? Look at what it says in verse 7. Which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. The ant doesn't need a boss on them all the time telling them what to do. The ant can just go ahead and do the work. And this is how a Christian man ought to be. You don't need someone telling you to do your job. You don't need to, oh, oh the boss is around. I better pick up my, my tools. I better do something now. Look, you ought to just be doing your work when nobody's looking. You ought to be able to provide for yourself and just be a self-starter and just go out and do your job and do your work. And if you're not, you're lazy. Learn from the ant. The ants know how to do that. Verse 9, how long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands asleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. So you're going to be, you're going to go into want, you're going to go into need when you're just sleeping. Just taking rest and taking, you know, getting all this sleep. Look, and again, this isn't saying you just can't ever sleep. This is the person who's always need to take that nap. Right? Just sleeping in the daytime. Say, oh, I'm too tired. Well, I'm just going to sleep a little bit longer. I know I got to get up for work, but I'm just going to sleep a little bit more. I'm just going to hit that snooze button. I've already slept for eight hours, but I'm just going to keep on sleeping. Look, that's not good for you. It's going to bring you to poverty. Flip over to Proverbs 24. It's basically going to say the same thing. I'm going to try to hurry up through some of this. Proverbs 12, 24 says, The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. When you're lazy, you're going to have people ruling over you. You're going to be paying and being under tribute to other people. But when you're diligent, then you're going to bear the rule. And then you'll notice something, by and large, you see business, small business owners out there? You know what's one thing that's very common among business owners? They work very hard. They're diligent in their business. They're not just taking naps, they're not just sleeping, they're working very hard. And I say, you know what, that's the vast majority of them. Every once in a while you'll find someone who's been given everything and they're like a second generation and they've had everything handed to them. But you know what happens to that? Those businesses fold up really quickly. Because you need to stay diligent because the Bible's true. Because <laughs> you're going to come to poverty if you're not working hard. 